I did some videos with my wife and my son. And the only thing that I can pull from those two situations is I might be the only sane person in this house. Good everybody, it's your boy, this dude. I'm up in here right now. The year wrapping up. I saw a sign uh, yesterday on the street while I was driving by. The sign said, 2020, weirdest year ever. And I agree with that 100%. Anyway, I wanna thank everybody who came up in here to watch this video. I thank you from the heart because you could have been anywhere in the world, but you right here with me and I appreciate that. While you here, hit the like button. And if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You, I don't just talk about sneakers. I just dropped a fire French toast video. You probably want to see it. You would have knew when I dropped it, but you wasn't subscribed. Get your life together, man. What you doing? I am on the race. To 1K. When I get there, I'm going to give away a $100 Visa gift card. No joke. $100 just for being up in here and hitting the subscribe button. Well, it's going to be a little bit more to it than that, but it's going to be some simple stuff. Nothing too crazy. Nothing ridiculous. Anyway, um, I'm about to do my top five sneakers that I cop this year. So without further ado, let's jump off into this thing. Coming in hot at number five an Air Max 90 that I picked up and it, I picked this shoe up like months ago and it still hasn't been out of the house yet. <laughs> here it go right here. It's the Ruhan Wang X Air Max 90 uh, Fly Leather. This shoe is fire to me. It's also the only collab I ever hit on sneakers app for. This is it right here. Pardon the shoestring tucked in back there. Now there you go. This is the one. The only one I ever hit on. It's really, really fire shoe. The, the box for the shoe is crazy. Like, crazy, crazy. So there's a box for another one of these, but this is the craziest box. That's number five. Number four, the Jordan 1 Mocha. My son has an Instagram uh, page where he does these custom laces. And the way he did these, it makes the sneaker pop. He used the black lace and the sail lace in it. And I think he calls this a reverse V. This is fire. And again, it makes your sneakers stand out. Fire shoe, fire shoe. I really, really like the shoe. You, you can tell that I be wearing this shoe, okay? But I be wearing these, man. I be wearing these like they old. <laughs> anyway, moving on to number three. They uh, retro this year. And when I found out they were retroing this year, I immediately put aside the 200 and some odd dollars I was gonna need to get them because I needed these right here in my life. It was important to me that I get them, man. And then USAA tried to ruin it. They tried to stand between me and my sneaker. But then the law, and no, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> anyway, it's the Jordan 6 DMP, uh, it's black metallic gold, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be white down here, but it also has a bit of translucent. It makes it look a little blue in, in some light. Fire sneaker, extra, extra fire sneaker. Um, I did not go after them the very first time that they dropped. I didn't go after any of the Defining Moments pack sneakers when they, when they originally dropped. I did, however, admire them from afar. But now I got, oh, I never even noticed. It says 2020 on the inside of the shoe. Yeah, I never noticed that. Anyway, this is a fire pair of sneakers, man. Definitely deserves to be in my top five for the year. Moving on, now let me go ahead and tell y'all something, okay? My number one and my number two could easily share the number one spot. If I was the type of person who believed in a tie, 
these two sneakers will share the number one spot. All right? And that's just that. So my number two is gonna go to the Flint 13. I have loved this shoe, this, this colorway, this silhouette since high school. And I don't care that some folks say, well, you ain't mature yet. Go ahead, my, my man, say that all you want to. You know what I'm saying? But this shoe right here, I have like, cause I couldn't even get this shoe when it first came out when I was in high school. Cause I was not financially in that kind of position when this first came out when I was in high school. But man, let me tell you, ever since then, life has been different. And when I saw they were coming out this year, I made it a point to go and get them, even though they got pushed back by hairlines so many times, man. But I wanted this shoe since I was a kid. And now that I have it, sometimes I can't even convince myself to put it on. <laughs> like, like this shoe has never been out of the house. This shoe has been out of the house twice, three times. And I had to convince myself to wear it because at the end of the day, it is just a shoe. But it's more than just a shoe though. <laughs> it's a memory. Times long past and all that other jazz. But yeah, man, number two. So. That leaves us with this number one position. What could it be? What simple, solitary shoe could it possibly be that took the number one spot out of, and, and my number one spot, I have worn more than every shoe up here, except the Mocha ones, except those. That's the only shoe that I have worn more than the shoe I'm about to pick up. And I actually kind of just realized that this shoe goes with this shirt, so now I know another shirt I got that I can wear with this shoe. <laughs> anyway, Jordan 4 PSG. Listen here. What does it for me with this shoe is more than one thing, okay? It's the simple hits of black. Simple, simple little hits of black. It's the, the gold caps on the shoelaces. It's the, it's the burgundy, or the, excuse me, not the burgundy, but the Bordeaux color all over this shoe. It's the emblem on the back. This shoe is crazy. It's the little bit of gray that you can mistake for white in the wrong light. It's, this shoe is crazy. This shoe is reckless. It's the Bordeaux flight written right there. It's the, it's the, the, the verbiage written on the inside that I don't even know what it say. It's, it's the hit of white when you walk away. Ooh. Mmm, fire. It's also that I only know one other person with this shoe, like here where I live. I'm sure it's more than one person with them, but I only seen one other person with them. Oh, this shoe crazy to me. But it was a toss up though, because either one of these could have been the number one. Either one. Man. So anyway, we back at that point. Um, first of all, is there any shoe up here that you like? Let me know in the comments. Like if uh, what you think of the order or whatever. I know I'm gonna have at least one argument. Let me know what you think of the shoes. And um, you know, if you have not already, please do subscribe and like the video. Even if you didn't like the video, still hit like, cause it'll make me feel better about my life. Ain't that what we about these days, making people feel good? Hit that like button. That makes me feel like I'm somebody. I am somebody when you hit the like button. <laughs> in the meantime, though, in all things, give thanks. No matter who you thanking, thank something. Because you could be a lot worse than you are. And also, I want you to remember that if you stick with me, I'll stick with you. I'm out, though. Peace.